Well, welcome back. It's Saturday. It's hot. I haven't had a ton of ambition, but I've been working on cleaning up the pistons for the Windsor. <laughs> Here's what they look like when we started. It's kind of grody. I mean, 100 and I don't I don't remember how many miles a dad's van had on it. I'm thinking it was like 150 or 160 thousand. So yeah, there's some carbon buildup. And I mean, they all look like that. The hard part is getting the ringlands clean. But I have found. This stuff right here works good. I mean, it works real good. So that's just WD-40 that I hosed it down with when I was done. Look at that. That is a huge difference. Nice and loose now. And, I mean, it's, I mean, this tops of this one, eh, looks like it might've seen a little detonation in its day. But, you know, they're factory cast pistons. What do you expect? There's this one. So what we did, it's funny. So, you know, old Dalton on Pole Barn Garage, he really likes the Super Clean. What's funny was, I hadn't been using the Super Clean. I'd been using Purple Power. Not because I didn't like the Super Clean, but because where I had been buying my parts, they didn't sell Super Clean. And I got to remember and. Now, a couple years ago at the racetrack, when you'd buy fuel, they'd give you a jug of it, a squirt jug. And I remembered it worked pretty good, so I thought, man, I'm going to go find me a different place and find me a different store, and I bought some. So here's what we've been doing with it. Made this little bucket. Yeah, the rod's got a little rusty, but it'll clean up once we... And set it down in there, and then go over and hose it off. And then I take the end of this to get some of the big, where is it, right there, to get some of the big junk out of the ring lands, and then a broken piece of ring that came out of them, and then re-soak it, which is what I'm doing. That should be the last time I have to soak that one. That might be all I get done today. Um, heat index was not quite 100 day. I think 98 was what I saw. It's still hot and miserable. And I don't have a lot of ambition, but I did get, well, counting that one, I'll have six of them done. That's a good start. We did not get the crank taken to the machine shop. Traffic yesterday when I got off work, because it was Friday, traffic was absolutely terrible. I didn't feel like driving over there. And most of the time on Fridays, they, about everybody except one guy will bug out early. I don't blame them. I mean, it's Friday. I'd bug out early on Friday too if I could. So I thought, it doesn't matter if I dropped it off Friday or if I drop it off Monday because, I mean, next week's got a holiday in it and they'll probably have some guys gone and it'll just take the same amount of time either way. But this way, Monday, I won't have to deal with traffic. Um, I ain't got much else right now. So we got six of them uh, cleaned up as much as we're going in right now. We'll clean them up just a touch more before we assemble it you know we'll spray them down real good with some sort of degreaser like carb cleaner brake cleaner or something make sure the ring lands are really clean um they're pretty good right now but I, I know i'll clean them up just a little bit more before i assemble it but you know you, you don't get everything spotless the first clean go around you get it clean and then you get it spotless the next time it's kind of a process. We got one more soaking over there, right there. And that's just because it was one of the first ones we'd cleaned up and we hadn't, we didn't soak them in the super clean. We just like sprayed the top of them off and then went over it with like a scotch Brite pad and that didn't get it near as clean as soaking it in there does. So we're going to soak it a little and then hose it off and WD-40 it again and then we'll be done for the day. And I have no idea if this is it or not. It may be, it may not be. <laughs> Who knows these things? So I learned yesterday while I was editing the video for this that the outro, the ending, this part here, that I had recorded somehow I deleted. 
so we got to redo it so that we can get this edited and get this posted. Anyway, what I had learned was, hopefully you can see, so all the, no, you can't see, let's put a little light on it. No, that's not going to work. All right, let's grab one and walk out here into the, this is early, it's like before work. So I've got these all cleaned up. After I soaked them with WD-40, what I learned was if you come back, clean them up, soak them in the super clean, clean them up, and then come back, you know, soak them in WD-40 overnight, and then come back the next day with your with your little piece of broken ring that the stuff that's been, that's left in the ring lands will come out a lot easier. So that was a little tip. Another tip is when you're using a little piece of broken ring like this, wear mechanic gloves or something because I sliced the hell out of the end of that finger and it bled like crap when I did that. So don't be stupid, wear gloves. But rods and pistons are all cleaned up. Um, I'll spray them off with carb cleaner or something one more time before we install the rings. Then we'll get the rings installed. And then right before assembly, we'll dunk them in some, I don't know, 30 weight or 50 weight or something and let a lot of it drip off of there and then we'll install all of them. But till then, this is the end of that. So like, share, comment, you know, do all that stuff everybody always asks you to do. Till then, see ya.